Hello and welcome back to LEGO Dimensions. Now, hopefully you've had a chance to watch the first video. I'm jumping straight back in. This is a playthrough through the entire story. Slippers anymore, my dear. Have you got any idea of where we are or what's going on? I know it's not Kansas. They took my slippers. They took my ring, too. And the kryptonite I was holding. And my treasure chest of ill gotten booty. Don't worry, Metalbeard. We'll get it back. Arr? And then I will have to return it to the rightful owners. Arr. Excellent. Place them with the other elements. Saruman the White. I am not a bad guy. <laughs> Please. Look, <laughs> Sauron. My Lord Sauron, it is I, your faithful servant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> to the right, you say? If you don't mind, you'll find lots of fun weapons, and we can offer you some excellent opportunities to use them. Well, we'd have to be crazy to refuse that offer. Mm. That means we're in. I almost lost my stuff that time. Same here, except with my lunch. Hey, nice job. You brought back the shift keystone. Keystone? What's a keystone? I'm guessing it's this. I have returned to aid the cause. So let's jump in. What is the next franchise that we're going to hit? I already know the answer, but I'm very much looking forward to it because it was one of my favourite levels. Right, so we've smashed up the Simpsons' house. Good effort. So step one is get outside. The other thing you may notice, I completely forgot about it myself until just now, is job is in my other with best. every level that you play through, the animation changes to fit the environment. Um, <laughs> it's less noticeable on some of the levels, but um, like for example, there's a, a Scooby-Doo level um, late in the game, and the animation fits the Hannah Bombana really well. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, where's my car? I need my car! To the garden. We. In 
interesting. The markings on this device appear to be the same as on the shift keystone. Perhaps they're linked? Someone's trying to help us. But who? Right, so obviously the first level was just kind of introducing you to LEGO Dimensions. Now that we're working our way through, um, you'll start, uh, you, basically the keystones start to become a much bigger part of it and you can use them to complete different uh, different puzzles. Uh, first one is just a teleportation one. As soon as you hit it, depending on where you put the, um, the minifigure on the toy tag, depends on where you transport to really basic functionality but they do get quite interesting as you work your way through the game so there's one for shrink and grow there's a color based one um there's basically a location based one so the location based one when you activate that the, the toy pad itself actually changes color depending on how close you are it's kind of hot and cold green or red but yeah as you can see by this one you've got the different teleportation points so on the toy pad each one of those colours is represented by that there you go, point on the toy pad. And if I put Wild Star on yellow, she goes up here. Very handy, this one throughout the game. Ah, oh, poor Santa's little helper. Really cool mechanic, actually. You don't see it. In, well, it's it'd be difficult for them to do it in any other Lego game because obviously you've got to have that physical interactivity. But um, yeah, the way they've used the toy pad. When you compare it to other things like um, what was it? Disney. Oh, Disney brought out Toys to Life one. I can't for the life of me remember what it was called now. Um, but yeah, so Disney's version of the Toys to Life. Yes. It did have some interactivity, but um, I think out of all of them, Lego was the only one that really used it to its full potential. It helped that they had a physical toy already to use as a basis. It's a shame that fad has phased out, actually, because I would love to see a Lego Dimensions 2. We can live in hope. Again, much like Wizard of Oz, they've gone to so much effort. There's there's a lot of love for the Simpsons in this. <laughs> I mean, you cannot fault TT Games whatsoever on the way they've handled each of the unique franchises. They've done such a great job. Of course, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that the Sonic the Hedgehog one from Wave 2, um, let's say Wave 2, Year 2, that's definitely up there as one of my favourites. <laughs> Where did Krusty go? <laughs> God, this reminds me of jumping off the heli carrier in Lego Marvel Superheroes. <laughs> Surprised me actually that um, Lego Dimensions didn't include Star Wars or Marvel, given how big they are as franchises with Lego. But then I suppose DC is owned by Warner Brothers, uh, TT Games is owned by Warner Brothers. It makes sense that they will focus on the Warner Brothers properties as their primary focus. Mind you, saying that Simpsons is owned by Disney now, so <laughs> interesting. Maybe we could have a Lego Dimensions 2 with Star Wars and Marvel. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker teaming up with um, Tony Stark? I, I think that'd be amazing. The Foundation 
foundation element has been located. It's in the nuclear power station in the hands of an employee. System compromised. Self-destruct initializing in T minus three. Two. That doesn't sound good. One. Look out! Detonation. Slight delay on the detonation. That sounded like only part of the plan. We'll need to hack more terminals to find out more. Of course we will. Um, so here's a question for you. Um, if LEGO Dimensions 2 did happen, what franchise would you most like to see appear in the game? Doesn't have to be one that LEGO have done in the past. I'm trying to think actually what I would have. At least Star Trek would be a good one. I really don't know actually. Transformers. Yeah. They did a lot of great 80s movies for the second year of this. Well, actually, first and second year. I don't know. I don't know what they could do. What I want to see. Indiana Jones. That's one that Lego have already done. That would be great if they brought that into the game. Maybe they could do just a Disney owned one. Because there's a Disney owned box there. I don't know how family friendly it would be, but they could have Family Guy and uh, <laughs> American Dad. <laughs> That'd be funny. Do everything it takes to get hold of this employee. One Homer J. Sam. Sam Sam. Oh, whatever. Just get him. Second system compromised. Self-destruct initializing in T minus three, two, one, detonation. Come on. Um, oh, another franchise that'd be fantastic. Another Disney-owned franchise now. Um, Percy Jackson. That TV show um, was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Um, that would make an epic Lego game. And you think how many different characters, uh, different environments. That would actually make a really good Lego game. I mean, they did a good job of Harry Potter, so why couldn't they do Percy Jackson? Supernatural. That's another one I'd love to see in a Lego game. I'm just listing off all my favourite TV shows. <laughs> Please be the last one. This is getting a bit repetitive now. There's so much more fun to do. This creature is still aloft. There must be more to it hidden away inside, keeping it alive. Still aloft? I could have one Lego game at all, not not Dimensions, which is Lego game in general at the moment. It would probably be a Lord of the Rings Hobbit remaster, similar to the way they've done the Skywalker Saga, because I love those games and they are fantastic Lego form. But an update would be amazing. And they clearly still have some licensing deal. I mean, this this game only came out what 2015. Yes, admittedly, that's nearly 10 years ago. <laughs> um, but you know, they brought Gandalf and the Lord of the Rings in, so I don't think it'd be that difficult for the, the Tolkien estate to agree to another Lego game. Make it happen, TT Games. Make it happen. This better be the last one. Once we have the artifact, we move back. Utilize the asset and his secret weapon if there's any resistance. The Lord Justice people know no boundaries. Proximity alert. Emergency landing incoming. Raise an altitude suggested. What? 
hell? <laughs> this says that we're heading towards Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. I know a guy that works there. That was our brakes. <laughs> Contraptions won't hear. Wild style, your scanner. There's something at the other end of the plant. Maybe the keystone. Let's check it out. Oh, sorry. So that home is just there in the background. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brain. It's all up to you. Check core temperature. I just pressed this button. Uh oh. The fate of the multiverse is with Homer Simpson. This is, this can only go well. <laughs> Don't! Don't! I get the feeling this guy isn't quite up to speed on nuclear safety. Do you know what? I didn't like the um, the master builder mechanic in um, the Lego movie game. I thought it was quite, it's, it just seemed quite lazy, but it works really well with the, with the toy, um, with the toy plate in this game. This is the difference with interactivity. him for a minute. Good job, Batman. I have been reborn again. What happened, Gannel? <laughs> I want to know what the last world of a worldly invasion was. Oh, definitely this way. Vent radio active gear. N O. So kind as to not meddle. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Gandalf's telling off Homer. <laughs> nope, not that way. Nope. Are they levers? Yes, they are. Aha! I have solved the overly complicated puzzle. Really, really complicated stuff here. Well, right now I'm working. Try again. Have I missed something? Anything up here? No. Am I being stupid? Yes. Yes. No, you can't jump up. What am I missing? This is what I get for mocking the complexity of this puzzle. Ah! See, I thought that was a silver brick. I didn't think I could destroy that. There we go. Ah! How I didn't die then, I don't know. This is my chance to show 
show everyone how professional I am. Oh dear. <laughs> Good job. What? Why would a nuclear power plant have a conveyor belt like that? What are they making? Uh, why am I questioning the logic of a Lego game? No, just play the game. in that dark place there. Here you go, another one of uh, Gandalf's great mechanics. Let there be light! Yellow. Uh, don't call off. Did that help? The giant joystick. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Gandalf. I did say in the previous video, I am a bit rusty with this game. It's been many, many a year since I've played it. Why can't I get through there? What am I doing wrong? Let's bring everyone there. Can you hit it? Nope. Blue one go again. Let's find out. Aha! Ah, okay, there we go. Are you being stupid? Long this level is. Ah, uh, yeah, and here's one of uh, Batman's uh, extra features. He can go invisible. See, there's more to these guys. Is that the end of the level? So, what I'm saying is, why didn't you just cut a bigger hole? Lord Business. Wild style. Wild style. Was you meddling? Hey, I'd love to catch up, but I have to grab something and then destroy you and your friends. Okay? Get the element. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am 99% sure. Now, what was the other thing? I'm 99% sure that if you put Homer Simpson and Superman together on this game, they do have quite a funny interaction. You guys to drop in, but I don't have time to play. I'm a little busy. Right, I've got Don't nothing to destroy. Gold? 
They could be used to ah, the okay. Business. Get little business to do all the work. Ah. Ah, look, this is a new gun, okay? It needs a little time to charge, <laughs> so my goons will distract you. Okay. All right. That's fair. Yeah, I'm gold day. Quick, before he starts shooting again. Okay. Oh, master builder. Quick. I thought it was going to be a, a keystone. No. No, just a toxic waste cannon. Also useful. Now what? Oh. Build number one. Why are you so difficult? Just stay still and let me get you already. This is it, I've just got to rebuild it three times. Or not. Over here. Quickly! Will you stop dying, Gandalf? Okay. Alright, so Batman's got to go up to the middle one. Just asking me to attack you in lots of different and interesting ways. Sounds good. Take that. We all know toxic waste gives you awesome superpowers, so you just keep on. <laughs> Thanks. Do you mind? This is a new suit. Are we done? Yes. Is that the end of the level? It's showtime. A fair play to Homer. <laughs> Look at that. Right into my hand. Hey, get your own pants. Hey, it's been great seeing you again, Wildstyle, but I have somewhere less exploding to be. You know what to do. Uh oh. Oh. Now what? Oh my god, how long is this level? This may in fact be the world's longest Lego level. Shouldn't complain, you get your money's worth out of this game. Right. This is the color-based uh, puzzle. Roll up, roll up and witness the hysterically hilarious. I know that voice. The ridiculous, the marvelously merciful me. Well, if it isn't my old pal Batsy, Joker. Ding, ding, ding. One point to the Dark Knight. <laughs> but can you tell me what this is? Say it's a power unit. So, 
I love the fact that Joker's got experts. Oh, I remember this now. <laughs> Throwback to uh, Lego Batman 2. <laughs> I fought tougher enemies than this with my cowl on back. <laughs> oh no. May have squished Batman. What's coming? Back eyes. Yay! Everyone has come out to see me. Little old me. Yeah, I think the tool for this job is in my other bat suit. Quick. Oh. Alright, surely I need to be in the purple. No. Yeah, mess that up. Try again. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> All right. no to be fair, considering how long this level is, that's the first time I've died. I don't think I was supposed to fall off the edge. Can I hit it from down here? Let's go back up there. There we go. Now I'm guessing it's rinse and repeat do that three times. Yeah. Boom! I love the background. Amazing. The Simpsons, that'd make another great game. I mean, the, the level pack was brilliant. As you'll see later on when I eventually get to it. Watch out for the lasers. Oh, he loves that laser. What I'm going to say is this better be the end of the level. <laughs> oh my guys! Alright, what have we got to build now? Those magic crystals are vital to his skills. Okay. Where is he? Hey, he moved. That's not fair. No, you're not gonna kill me again. I refuse. Will you just play nice? Never! Run away! Right by the rule of three. Should be one more time. I mean, that robot looks like it needs to lie down anyway. It's not a show without the Joker! That's me, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with the animation there. It's very cool. Right. 
what I hope will be the last round of bad guys. Right. That contraption. The Joker bot is using it to change up his attacks. Right, do we think the middle? He's going blue. Ah, oh, he moved. That's not fair. Boo. Oh, why are you... Stop moving. Please be it. Please be it. Are we done? Not down yet. Okay. This is looking promising. Let's end this. Oh my god. Is that the end of the level? <laughs> Gandalf saves the day. I'll take that, thank you. Shall we? Yes, yes, we shall. And we're done. Oh my god, that was a long level. God bless any of you that made it to the end of this video. Um hats off to you anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you're enjoying this series so far episode two now done i'll be back with another one very very soon don't forget to subscribe to the channel um comment let me know what your favorite thing about lego dimensions is or what you'd like to see if there ever was a lego dimensions 2 and i'll be back very soon with another video thanks for watching Bye bye